there's a thing she did when she was attorney general, and I want to get your take on it, because I think it could be a, I think the Trump campaign could make it a thing uh, if they wanted to. But talk, to explain to us the Kamala Harris's uh, truancy laws and, and going after parents whose kids miss more than, I believe it was five days unexcused absence or five days of being 30 minutes or more late to school. Um, tell us about the deal with that. Oh, absolutely. You know, she, she touted this when she was the attorney general as this great law to correct child truancy laws in the state of California. In other words, she was going to put a burden on parents to make sure their kids go to school. She wasn't going to attack teacher unions. She wasn't going to talk about the poor quality of schools. So she made parents the target of the public school system by incarcerating them. Okay, she thought this was going to cure the educational problem among poor schools. No, it's school choice. But she pushed this law to jail parents. I mean, you show me the connection. Now, she backed off of that when she was running for higher office. She went on a, a, a program, I think Jake Tapper program, and said, no, that's not the intended consequences to put parents in school. I mean, put parents in jail. It's to put kids back in school. But it was a complete failure, a total failure. And again, she distracted from her main responsibility of going after major crimes and trying to put parents in school. I mean, excuse me, yes. parents in jail. Yes. Ridiculous. Yeah, so her claim, her claim was that uh, it was just a little scared straight, right? Of her many speeches, this was a stump speech of her, as you know, that yeah. she would uh, send these letterheads out to parents and the parents would sit the kids down and say, you have to go to school because otherwise Kamala Harris is going to arrest me. Kind of like half joking, although she did arrest people. Um, but it was just to scare the parents, to get the kids in school. They'd rather, they'd, I think the line she uses is, I'd rather the kids be in school now than in jail later. So was right. there any truth to the fact that she scared the parents and the kids straight? No, it was a boogeyman letter. It was a big old phony boogeyman letter. It did not accomplish the so-called intended results. Remember, Kamala Harris tried to tout this as spending political capital to improve the educational system. That's the ultimate goal. Did her truancy law improve the educational system? No, it was a complete failure. And the, the PR move of scaring parents, no. She prosecuted some parents. They never went to jail. But what was the purpose of it? It did not work. It was a failure. And she backs away and walks away from it now by saying, it wasn't my true intention to jail parents. But it was a failure. Wow. That was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.